future. And those who say, do you know what, if we stay in the EU, the SNP might have another referendum. The SNP will try another referendum any time we think they can win one. Anyone who thinks they'll go away just because we simply accept the European Union we don't like is living in double cloud cuckoo land. And I worry about having that double, that double problem. But let me tell you why I think that has actually diminished even that as a threat. And that is that the fact you can have a referendum in Scotland of separation is down to the Westminster Parliament under the Scotland Act. And they were allowed to have a referendum last time because they put it in the manifesto and they said if we win a majority in the Scottish Parliament, we will want to have a referendum in Scotland sometime during that term of office. They didn't put it in the manifesto this time, and they also lost the overall majority in the Scottish Parliament. Two reasons why they have no mandate to hold another referendum. And in any case, let's take the decision on the referendum for Europe on the issues of Europe and not be bullied by any small party just north of the border. A gentleman seated yeah. halfway down. Ben, thank you. How you name, please? Yeah, ben, um, I'm a student. I'm just wondering, could the Leave campaign make more uh, more of an issue about the fact that, well, the, the, the Remain campaign are always saying, you know, that the Leave campaign are using deceptive figures like 350 million, even though that is the ONS statistic. But um, uh, the fact that, you know, the, the Remain campaign are talk, constantly talk about being, you know, it's called Britain stronger in Europe, you know, as if we're going to leave Europe and, you know, the UK is going to move into the Atlantic. You know, uh, could you make a point of the fact that the very name of the, of the Remain campaign is actually a lie because we will always be in Europe uh, and, you know, part of the reason I want to leave the European is because I love Europe and I want us to maintain the different cultures uh, and, you know, our differences and work together in harmony without being, you know, governed by an undemocratically elected uh, commission. Very good. This may sound funny, but in the European Parliament, I've said uh, many times when they stop booing that <laughs> I've said many times that actually we are the true Europeans. They have, as I said earlier, they've hijacked the word Europe. They've invented the flag and all the rest of it. The countries of Europe, and what you're seeing is massive opposition to this project. Not just here in Bristol today; it's happening in every country in Europe. And, and, and I honestly think we are the true Europeans. Europe, as you said in your question, is about diversity, different peoples. And provided those countries are democratic, they will never go to war with each other again. So for them, for them, to use the word Europe is wrong in both senses. We are not having a referendum about Britain's relationship with Europe. We're having a referendum about Britain's membership of a false political union that was sold to us under, under a prospectus that was utterly untrue. And I repeat the point. If we have the courage to stand up against the establishment, to reassert our rights as a nation, the rest of Europe will follow us too. And I'll drink for that. <laughs>